In this video, I battle it out at Sardegna to try and raise my driver rating from B to A. Can I do it? The lobby's full of good folks. Watch, find out. Welcome to the channel. This is Go Greddy, your 2018-2019 SCCA Senla Region F Street Autocross Champion and Senla GT Sport Sim Racer. If you like what you see, I ask that you hit the like button. If you really like it, go ahead and hit that subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the action. And this is the end of my qualification lap and it is absolutely not very good. <laughs> Ends up being good for 11th, but uh, nothing to write home about. So. Let's get to the lobby and see who all we got in here. And I was pretty excited about this lobby. I mean, if you look at it, we got within striking distance. We got uh, 13 Czar, ERT Rocket Man, uh, Cobra 214S, Fog Jester, Mobile Masher, Big Drifter, T Spotter, uh, Share 20, Racing Rog. All these people I've uh, burned to silver I've raced just recently. I mean, I was just really excited about this lobby. So uh, let's get on to the intros and see how everybody qualified. All right. Again, thank you, Miss Opera Lady. So, how did everyone do? How did all these people that I've been racing with, how did they all finish and qualify? I really felt like I should have qualified a lot better than I did, um, but I didn't. And so, at first, we have Cobra 214 TS with a 128 474, solid lap time. Uh, and second, we got Chindle 257 with a 128 495. And third, we got Prozac BHR and his TT Cup with a 128 813. Uh, in fourth, we got Needles 99 in the Porsche with a 128.847. And in fifth, we got Fog Jester with a 128.936. Uh, in sixth, we got the VWR 2017 with a 129.075. In seventh, we got Racing Rog 88, 129.156. In eighth, we got Burn to Silva in his M4 with a 129.166. In ninth, we got Mobile Master in his Mustang with a 129.260. And in 10th, we got Diva 0021 with a 129.270 in the Lambo. Myself, Go Greddy in the Lexus uh, with a 129.435. Uh, in 12th, the 13th Czar, 129.481. And 13th, ERT Rocket Man with a 129.643. And 14th, Merc Dweller with a 129.646. And in 15th, T Spotter 723 with a 129.687. In 16th, Share 20 and his Mustang with 129.750. I know he's a lot faster than that. Uh, in 7th, Jason 613 with a 129.779. In 18th, Big Drifter 210 with a 131.64. And 19th, Mr. Well Done 11, 131.115. And last but not least, within Striking Die. With the 131 509 and the 650s mclaren so that is the starting grid a lot of folks i've raced with in the past like i said a few of the folks i raced with uh through the past few nights just practicing for this event and uh cobra i've raced against him and he was a good bit faster than me uh in the practice race so wasn't surprised to see him put down that good lap time i was a little upset with myself i should have been in the 128 so probably starting about the top five but i did not so yeah say la vie so let's get the race started and i don't know what happened to deba 021 here but uh got a terrible start i made a really good run up on the lambo and in my lexus i was pretty shocked at that um and i guess with the slipstream <laughs> i got aided along through there a little quicker than i was used to so uh over our you know broke a little too late there so let deba right our deba right back in front in 10th place kind of a bummer but never hang your head down low folks just keep at it so here behind diva going into the you know downhill bold 
left-hander, and Mobile Master gets loose on that right-hand side. Not sure if he was assisted at all by Diva there, but uh, hey, I took advantage of it. Uh, pass him down the inside and set my sights on getting back in that slipstream um, of Diva or Burn to Silva. As Diva takes the inside line on Burn to Silva and they get a little contact in there. A little door to door racing. So I enjoy watching that from behind. Um, coming around this uh, tight right hander before the S curves, which are laid out here just before the final turn and the long straight at Sardegna B2. Um, trying to just keep speed through here. It looks like Bernard Silva and Deba were kind of going a little slow there through the back half of that, so I had to back off a little bit. But uh, hoping the old Lexus can jump in this here slipstream and get sucked down this straight. Maybe make a pass and watch as I go into the left side. Going to go for the pass in turn one. Don't think... I'm going to be able to avoid hitting Diva, but I somehow managed to drop it in third and stay on the track. Make the pass stick on Burn. Uh, good clean driving by Burn to Silva through corner one. I appreciate that. Uh, so gets a little gnarly there as Diva gets into uh, VW as well as Needles. Uh, gets a three-second penalty for it, probably rightly so. And then Needles runs wide, hits Diva coming out of the gravel. And uh, that's not going to be good there for, for Needles. So sitting behind Diva has a three-second penalty. Hey, there's sixth place right there, just waiting. Now, I'm not going to try and do anything too silly, get on the inside of Diva here. Um, the penalty zone is right up here around this right-hander uh, at the end of this corner here. He's going to have to serve his penalty right about there gonna go so I'm gonna just go through the ghost right there continue on now next is racing rog so about uh, about two seconds here behind racing rog I really need to get my act together and start putting better lap times I can run 128s um, I can run very low 129s and I can do it consistently but up to this point I just I just have not done it tonight for some reason and um, I know the track and I just weren't, weren't mixing as you can see through my qualifying time well qualifying time was a 139 sorry a 129.4 not a 139 and um, I just I mean I could do 128s and qualifying all night long last night <laughs> I couldn't get one to save my life today so that's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes anyway so uh, about one and a half seconds behind Racing Rog, who uh, raced a few times in, in some lobbies. Uh, good good times that Racing Rog is putting down. So just need to try and pull in on him and potentially catch up to uh, maybe four, maybe three. I don't feel like I'm that far back. I'm only on the third lap, so we've got six laps to go. Um, really seven if you consider the third lap as well and uh, only about seven and a half seconds out of the lead which isn't too bad either um, considering how much traffic we had to deal with at the beginning of the race and the issues and people flying around all over the place um, i'm feeling pretty good about my position now racing rog is pulling on me a little bit and i think he might be getting a little bit of help from the audi slipstream there um so I'm not too worried about it because it looks like they're about to do some door-to-door -door racing, so that'll help pull me into the mix. Now, I've put about two and a half seconds on Burn to Silva since I made the turn one pass a lap ago, so feeling pretty good about my position here. Um, and Diva's behind Burn to Silva, so I know I probably got you know three and a half, four seconds on Burn, so I'm feeling good about that. Now, I know that behind me I got Shara 20, who I raced with, uh, the other night in the lobby and he has got you know that 128 lap time speed so I know he could be coming up soon so I you know definitely no time to relax so holding the uh, the distance to the leader to right around seven and a half seconds still so that's that's a good sign now Cobra 214 is probably just <laughs> on cruise control saving his tires uh, making sure we don't you know, you know he doesn't make a mistake by wearing his tires off. So he probably not even driving that hard. Because I, I know that he's capable of putting down really fast lap times. So um, I, I'm not under any kind of a <laughs> misconception that I'll be running down 
Cobra 214. That's not going to happen. As I get a little bit wide there, barely missed the wall. That was a butt puckering moment. My, I mean, I, I could have turned coal into diamonds on that little section there. So, uh, come around the right hander, uh, just, just inching in, just getting a little bit closer to racing wrong. Um, and then I have kind of a bad exit there, and, and he and Prozac pull out on me coming down this straight so I need to make something happen here in the next couple of laps if I have any chance at making podium um, I would like to I, I think I have the pace for it I just I just wish I had gotten a better qualifying time but I didn't so again one car at a time right now I've got my head down I'm focused on racing wrong he's looking pretty good you know he's he's taking these these corners very smoothly he's not looking twitchy or uh, like he's taking a bad line anywhere so there's no real I'm not really seeing any any weak point in his lap so I can be like oh I'm just you know gonna really run him down here and really the only spot where I was kind of making up time on him was right here after that really sharp left hander so uh, making up a little bit of time on him through this section but then he would pull away from me on the back half of the course and uh, I tended to find that in my practice race as well now I don't I don't know if that's a Lexus thing or how I drive the car, probably how I drive the car. I tend to get real pushy through the S-curve, so probably trying to push the car too hard and then losing speed through here instead of staying in tight there. So you can see how the car is starting to push out. Shouldn't be doing that. So get on the brakes here. I would like to keep the miles per hour up there closer to 60 than I was right there. Uh, like I said, I just, I just wasn't having the brake feel today, and a lot of these... GT Sport tracks, man, it's all about the brakes. I mean, I know you want to get on the throttle early, but boy, the brakes, the braking is where it's at. That's where you're making up all your time. So get on the brakes here, just before my double cone marker that I've got on, and uh, just trying to get into that slipstream. I finally do a Prozac, so I'm within that half second. So now he's going to start pulling me in, and uh, if I can put some pressure on Prozac and maybe get on the tail racing wrong. Uh, there is a chance for, for getting to that third place up, at, up in front because it's not that far in front of Racing Rock. I mean, he's reeling, he's reeling in second and third, and uh, Prozac and I are just kind of <laughs> riding his coattails back here, um, which, hey, I'll happily do. So, well within the slipstream of Prozac, trying to kind of figure out where I want to attack. It's, you know, it's, it's looking like the beginning half of the track or uh, the last corner are probably my best spots to make up time on them. So they both go a little wide. And watch this. Racing Rog just misses it. And then Prozac follows him and almost smokes the barricade but manages to miss it. So I almost picked up two positions. I was just inches away. I mean, it was tight. Now, Prozac may be just sweating buckets right there. Took that corner pretty poorly. Went wide. Went out past that line with his right tires. He's going to pick a penalty here. Two and a half seconds. I mean, that's, that's fifth place if I just hang with him. But I'm, I'm you know, picking up on him right here. Got to run on him. So I'm just going to throw it to the in, you know, go to the inside. He comes in there like uh, he doesn't realize I'm over there. Uh, got into my quarter panel a little bit, uh, which kind of hurt my exit a tiny bit but uh, I think he just didn't see me on the inside again a lot of people don't expect you to try and pass on corner one it was actually an area I, I liked to pass uh, from the other night um, Prozac tries to get the inside line but just catches my corner panel a little bit backs out of it some um, and then gives me a little another love tap from behind right there but hey uh, he's racing hard um, and of course it's costing us both time uh, trying to catch Racing Rock as Racing Rock's kind of scampering away as we're kind of battling for a position here. So um, with the penalty, I didn't think he was going to try this move, so I really didn't defend it at all uh, as he <laughs> throws that, comes down the inside. Um, left me some room on the outside, so again, hard race. It may be a little bit harder than we should be at this point, but uh, you know, no harm, no foul. He's about to grab his two second, or three second penalty, whatever it was, two and a half second, I think it was. Um, and I'm going to scamper off into the distance so anyway i actually enjoyed that little bit of racing with me and prozac um it's, it's the reason i like playing the game is a little door-to-door -door race and um i really enjoy it 
uh, as well as kind of the the racecraft that's involved in it. Like again, like I said, this this track is a little hard to defend the way the corners are, uh, especially in reverse. I don't know if the other way is the same, but uh, anyway. So enjoyed that little skirmish there with Prozac. It was, it was a good time. So trying to catch racing rog here. So for the next lap. Basically, this is what I see, about a two and a half second differential. So we will fast forward on to the end of lap eight, beginning of lap nine, where we'll be able to pick up on a little more of the action. So here we are in lap nine, and as you'll see, he's racing rocks actually made a little time up on me, um, about 3.3 seconds, but that group in front of me, they are really tight. So really what I'm hoping for right here is someone runs the other person off the course and I can pick up a position. That's actually what's going through my mind right now. I'm like, oh yes, you three just, just wreck each other. <laughs> ah, yes. Oh, the suffering of others would have made me happy. <laughs> but um, they did not. In fact, uh, Racing Rod makes a nice move on Fog Jester there on the last right-hander and picks up third place. So great job by him great racing by him um i stay in fifth prozac's about six seconds behind i finished only nine and a half seconds from the leaders so i only lost really two seconds on him from lap three so that's not too terrible um not my best overall lap time but i was pretty happy with the result fifth place and i, I got some some good driver ranking points out of it and i did make it from b to a so i am now an a rated driver go gritty in a ranks so I did not want to race this again because I want to enjoy, I want to bask in the glory of being an A-rated driver. So uh, there you have it. There's the results. Uh, Cobra 214 in first by Chindle 257 in second. Racing Raw, great job getting up in the third. Fourth, Fog Jester holds on for that fourth place. And I come in in fifth. Prozac behind me in sixth. Fern to Silva in seventh. Mark Dweller pulls in eighth. Diva falls back to ninth. Nettle fall all the way back to tenth. Uh, Jason 613 in 11th. Sharer. 20 and 12th T spotter and 13th mobile masher rounds off the top 14 so enjoyed that race immensely fastest Lexus driver of the day yes indeed earned 946 points only 300 off the fastest lap oh so close but uh, so far away so hope you enjoyed the video if so join us again this is go Greddy signing out <laughs>